Ichiro, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the memories and taking us along this wonderful magic carpet ride. I'm Heidi Watney with the MLB.com FastCast. Ichiro Suzuki may have come as close as possible to executing the perfect end to a brilliant career when he announced Thursday that he's retiring from the game after playing one last time with the Mariners in a 5-4, 12-inning win against the A's in his home country of Japan. The 45-year-old's final hurrah came in front of a sold-out Tokyo Dome crowd that cheered his every move as Ichiro bid farewell to baseball and his Japanese fans in a touching tribute that brought goosebumps to an entire nation and tears to his eyes. Reigning American League Cy Young winner Blake Snell and the Rays agreed to a five-year, $50 million extension, the club announced Thursday. The deal extends through the 2023 season, and the left-hander could make an additional $2 million in incentives. Last year, at a 1.89 ERA, 180-plus innings, one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. It all came together for him last year, Bill, and now it is. Again, he's just going to be under arbitration, under club control, but here's where he'll go from a million, seven, ten point five, up to $16 million in 2023. MLB Network insider Ken Rosenthal is reporting that the Cardinals are working to finalize a new five-year contract with first baseman Paul Goldschmidt that would begin after this season. Though the club has not confirmed news of the extension, President of Baseball Operations John Moselak acknowledged that the club is working towards something as he departed the Cardinals spring training complex on Thursday. Here's a guy that's going to go out there and play every single day for you. He's going to hit you 30 bombs. He's going to do his damage. And he's not going to talk a whole lot. He's not going to say, hey, look at me. I'm just going to go play every single day. So I like this move for him, but I also like it for the Cardinals. Bryce Harper looks like he's ready to go with opening day approaching. He crushed two home runs in Thursday afternoon's 13-6 victory over the Blue Jays at Spectrum Field. He ripped a line drive, two-run homer to right field in the first inning, and a towering solo home run out of the ballpark in the sixth. First pitch to Harper, swung on, and that one's hit the right field, and it's hit well, and that ball is gone. Bryce Harper's first home run as a Philly. One pitch, and that is swung on, and that is hit deep, and that ball is gone over the back fence. The second home run for Bryce Harper today, and it's 13-3 Phillies. For more on these stories and complete spring training coverage, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.